Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your girl, Philly, a.k.a. Visuals by Philly. And it's Tuesday, so you already know what that is. It's Tutorial Tuesday. So we're coming at you with another tutorial. Let's get it. All right, so today I'm going to show you guys how to do this head tracking effect that we all saw in one of the greatest music videos ever, in my opinion, which is Sicko Mode. Gone on you with the pick and roll, young and flame here in Sicko Mode. Okay, and now here is a similar effect, or the exact same effect, really, that is on a music video clip that I recently, or I guess I did in the past, it wasn't recent. All right, cool. So I'm essentially gonna show you guys how to do the same effect manually in Premiere Pro, just in case you don't have either access to After Effects or you're not proficient in it yet, okay? So let's go ahead and dive right into it. I have a clip from an old music video already selected. I do recommend trying to use a clip that's a little bit longer. I wanna say in the sicko mode video, it was like a three or four second long clip. For the sake of this tutorial though, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a one minute or a one second clip for you guys, okay? So the first thing we wanna do, drag and drop that clip here. Then we're gonna go to this icon, new item. We're gonna go to color mat, hit okay. And I'm gonna set the color to red. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and drag the color mat on here, match it to the length of the clip. I think I went like one frame too far, so I'm gonna go back here. All right, so that's matched. <clears throat> now I'm gonna go to effects controls. I'm gonna go to opacity, and I'm gonna click this uh, eclipse or like ellipse or basically the circle icon. Let's go ahead and click that. And now you can see it's got the shape of a circle. Uh, before we even really get started on this, I'm going to increase the size of I'm going to scale up our video clip to about 200 and then I'm going to place our subject right in around the middle of the frame. Okay, I'm going to select the uh, color matte layer again, go back down to the opacity where it says mask opacity. I'm going to put that at 50% so we can see through it a little bit better. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to position the circle, the red circle to be right around where the subject's head is. And we're basically using the red circle as a as a guide, guys. We will eventually take this off, okay? So now that we have that place, you want the circle to be about the, the size of what the subject's head is on the clip. Mine is a little bit bigger, but that's okay because I want it to, you know, it just helps me be a little bit more precise for me. Um, you can make it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller if you want to. Um, now the next thing we're gonna do, <clears throat> we're gonna go over to effects. We're gonna type in transform. And then we're gonna drag and drop transform onto the video clip. Okay, go to effects control, make sure that the video clip is selected. And basically what we're gonna do you guys, is we're gonna go down to transform and we're going to keyframe the position and we're gonna adjust the position to try to keep the subject's head as centered as possible to the red circle, okay? It's a little tedious, but it's, it's really actually pretty easy. So we're gonna select the toggle here and we're just gonna move over a couple keyframes to the right and just adjust it accordingly, right? You wanna make sure that you don't have any black bars at the top or the bottom of the, uh, of the frame as well. And I'm gonna speed through this for you guys too so you don't just sit here and watch me do it. But you wanna do this and just be patient with it because you want it to be as you know precise as possible. Okay, that is it. We did the whole clip. Like I said, it's gonna be a little bit longer if the clip is longer, obviously. We just did this for the sake of the tutorial to make it quick for you guys. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this, I'm gonna hit this eyeball right here on the color matte layer so we don't see that anymore. That's how you get it to come back and forth on. And then now I'm gonna select the clip right here, the video clip. And the cool thing about doing transform is as opposed to just doing this clip, cause you can do this in motion. Like you could do the same thing right up here. But the reason that we put transform on is because we can now unclick, um, I think it's like use composition shutter or something like that. We can now unclick that and we're gonna bump up this shutter angle to 360. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you that blur effect like in the, the, the Drake video. Okay, and now go ahead and play it. Now, if you wanna see the original clip, show you guys what the original clip looked like. 
Okay, that's the original clip. This is the clip with the effect. All right. And then like I said before, you know, we had the same thing with this longer. Let's drag that in. Actually, not that one. We did the same thing with a slightly longer clip, just so you could really, really appreciate the effect. Um, we did the same thing uh, with this clip here from another video. All right. And that's it, you guys. For those of you who are new to the channel, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. I do drop a, a tutorial every Tuesday. Um, and for those of you who have been here, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your support. Um, if you guys didn't know, I recently launched my store, um, www.shopvxp.com. I'll put the link down below. Um, where we have some presets, some Lightroom, a Lightroom preset pack that's for sale right now, as well as a um, trippy thermal effect for Premiere Pro that's for sale as well, and um, as well as some merch. Um, and I'm, I just want to just take a moment to say thank you guys. The support, the, the, the store has only been launched for a week, and the support that I've received so far has been mind-blowing. So I appreciate you guys. If you want to cop something, make sure you guys go see it. It does help the channel grow. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Peace.